Now, a portion of the program we look forward to every year. Nick Eckert is with us. He's our sideline reporter. He, of course, takes all the photographs that we show in Tony McGee's Pro Football Plus. And we've asked Nick to come on the show and pick out a dozen or so of the best shots of the season. Undoubtedly, everybody will be scoring and making big plays. Right, Nick? Well, sometimes <laughs> making big plays for the other side. But yeah. That's true. Well, let's just go down. And Pierre Garcon, of course, was a real force. I think uh, the fans were delighted with his performance this year. And if they add another receiver next year, they're going to have probably one of the best tandems in the NFL. But what about the two shots of Pierre Garcon? Well, these are just two shots that show him make, making a great catch. And then the shot when he ran the catch into the end zone where he jumped up with a lot of joy. And you can see that his uh, mouthpiece has those Dracula fangs on it, too. Yes. And I thought that that was just a cool sequence to have. Yeah. RG3 pretty much let the cat out of the bag. That's uh, Garcon's uh, little moniker, right? right. The yeah, fangs. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, now we have three shots of uh, Robert Griffin the third, three, four, five, and six. Tell me about these. Um, well, it, the first one just I felt was pretty much just simply illustrated how much of an explosive and dynamic player he can be when he's in his element. The second one showed some of the trouble that he had, um, you know, when he uh, got hit and dropped the ball on this particular shot. Mm -hmm. And then the other ones showed him, like, when they were actually letting him run some and uh, try to get some yards on the ground instead of just throwing to the wide receivers. Yeah, toward the latter part of the season, his, his mobility was great, was much greater. Yeah. All right, seven and eight are, of course, Alfred Morris, one of the best running backs in the league. Tell me about uh, those. Well, he's just always a joy to photograph because the guy always seems to get yards, always holds on to the ball. And, you know, I think that when you see him battling the way through in the first photograph I got of him, battling through towards the end zone, and then you see the reaction in the end zone where he's holding his hands up and uh, it's signifying the seven points, and one of his, one of his uh, fellow teammates is giving him a hug. I mean, it's just uh, it's a joy to photograph him when he's it, doing that. It'll be interesting to see what Jay Gruden does with this next young man, Roy Halu. He's good size running back, great hands, uh, underutilized this year, many would think. But tell me about this shot. Well, this is just one where he managed to fight his way through into the end zone, and he's just about ready to dive into the end zone score. And I thought it was a great uh, sequence, and it was good to show someone besides Morris, you know, racking up points and all that for the Redskins. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Cousins undoubtedly will be back next year. The Redskins will hold on to him. Tell me about the shot of Kurt. Well, this is just one of the ones where he's called in, like after um, RG3 got on, put on the sidelines. Um, he's just simply uh, looking out for a receiver, or probably trying to make up his mind about whether he's going to make a run for it or not. And, you know, I just thought it was a good one that captured what he looked like and how well he can play when he does. Okay, cornerback Josh Wilson is making a big play here. Tell me about that. Well, I thought this was an awesome one. Um, you know, it was a kickoff, and he rushed down, and he just hit the uh, receiver there so hard he knocked the ball loose and got a fumble, which was very welcome for the Redskins in a season that wasn't such so great for uh, awesome defensive plays or anything. And the last one, ladies and gentlemen, is Mike Shanahan. And, of course, I'm a big metaphorical kind of guy since I teach college English part-time. If you take a look at this shot, and I'll let you comment on it in a second, it's a shot of Mike, and everybody else in the line is somewhat blurred behind him, which metaphorically speaking, I think exemplifies the kind of reign that Mike Shanahan had had. Who was really behind him? Who made the decisions? And I think that uh, that is a great shot that you got, Nick. Oh, thank you. And that's called in photographic terms bokeh. When, uh, when the background's blurred out, it makes the main subject pop out a lot. And you, you can do that when you fiddle around with your camera controls. Yeah. But I thought it was just a, a good way to sort of bookend his tenure at uh, Redskins. Yeah, of your 50 shots last year, we sent them to the Washington Redskins. And I know um, there were two particular shots you got no one else got, and they were delighted to have those. What's it been like to be on the sideline the last couple of years? Oh, it's, it's been a thrill, especially this, not this pa past season, but this one before when they were actually on a winning streak. But it's just a thrill to photograph people who are world-class athletes in such a, you know, emotionally and uh, play-action charged environment. I mean, it's, it's just a rare treat for a photographer like myself. Well, I tell you, it's all about Tony McGee and keeping the show going 29 years, so guys like you have a chance, and of course, Donna Hopkins, who gets us our credentials. Oh. Thanks for being with us, Nick. Awesome. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment everybody's been waiting for, Tony McGee and Gary Clark sit down and talk about what it was like to play on the only three Super Bowls the Washington Redskins won. We'll be right back.